The second day of action at JSU's Pete Matthews Coliseum featured the semifinals in Class 2A and in Class 6A. Area teams on the court today looking to take one more step into Birmingham. Our cameras are there. Let's go out to Pete Matthews Coliseum. Starting Class 6A, the Oxford boys taking on number six, Albertville. Oxford looking good early. Rock Taylor from the nice pass of Kendrick Foster finishes with the layup there. He had a big day. More from the Jackets. Eugene Leonard, a great pass to Braden Smith down low, gets the basket and the foul. Big day for Mr. Mack as well, but Abervel kept the pace early. Carlos Marino with a three-pointer. He led the Aggies with 16, all tied up at 19 after one. The second quarter, though, is where Oxford made, created the separation. Jackets scored nine points in one minute. Marquise Davis, three of them there. Jackets outscored Albertville in this quarter, 32-13. They never looked back after that. Eugene Leonard, the basket and the foul. He led all scorers with 21. Rock Taylor, 15. Marquise Davis, 13. Braden Mack, 12. Demontre McClendon 12 as well. Oxford cruises past Albertville. Final score, 85-57. Everybody just pitched in. It wasn't just one person. Everybody shared the ball. We really worked defensively. That's the main goal is work, to work defensively, let the deep defense uh, start up everything else for us. When you shoot the ball well, that, that makes everything look good. But I thought the key to our game was our defensive intensity, how hard we played defensively. I thought our guys were – uh, engaged and connected and that's what they've been all year and I'm so proud of them because they've been able to work and get themselves back to this point where they've got another opportunity and that's all you can ask. So the Jackets would get the winner of this one. Pinson Valley and number 10 Parker in the other semifinal. Parker's Jason King the star of the day. They are a great pass to Cameron Owens. He had four assists. Then King ISO straight to the basket all by himself gets the basket to drop there. Pinson Valley played well in stretches. They were led by Omarion Norris, 14 points, but King and the Thundering Herd just too much. 23 points for King, 10 rebounds, like I said, four assists. Parker wins it big, 66 to 46. So our 6A boys, a final is now set. Oxford will take on Parker on Tuesday at 2.15. Winner of that game goes to Birmingham for the chance to go for a state championship. Also in the Final Four, this is a great, great region here in Class 6A boys. Meanwhile, Class 6A girls, probably one of the strongest of them all. Ramsey and Center Point, they played the morning game. Ramsey comes away with a six-point win, 59-53, to and probably the game of the day. There's really two of them. We'll show you the other one in just a bit. Homewood and Brewer went to two overtimes. Homewood wins it on the free throw line with about eight seconds to go, 63-62. So it's Homewood, Ramsey playing in the Northeast Regional Girls Final Tuesday at 1230. From Class 6A, we move down to Class 2A. Great, great crowd for Section and Sand Rock. These two girls clubs have a whole lot of history, and they played well early on today. Both squads did. Section's Kirby DeMord, DeMord I should say, with a three-pointer right there. She had 15 points on the day. Sand Rock answers. Lainey Henderson knocks down the three-point shot. And then Section back in transition. Tessa Brown. Nobody open, nobody on me, just spots up, hits the three-pointer. 21 points for number 21. But the second half is where Sand Rock really took off. 26-7, they outscored section in the third quarter. They go on to win it 65-49. You know, at the beginning of the game, before we ran out there, we were all nervous. None of us has ever really experienced this because we haven't been here in five years. So not out of Elkhart's habit. In the halftime, we kind of came together and was like, okay, you know, j no more jitters. We're good. Let's go out there and let's play our ball. Like, we know how to play. And we went out there and we rebounded well. We drove. We had lots of fire. These girls play hard. They give it all they got all the time. And they they really push themselves and, and challenge each other. And once we got the jitters out, I thought we played really well the second half as far as getting some touches, getting some steals getting some points off the press. I thought we turned it up second half. I'm proud of them. No matter who is the leading scorer, no matter what we do, that we're going to play as a team and we're going to, everyone's going to contribute, no matter if you're sitting on the bench, if you're uh, out on the court, your job is to encourage everyone and to keep everyone, everyone's spirits up and to help them play better. So the now 2A girls uh, final, regional final is set. Section is out. Sand Rock is in. Meanwhile, on the other side of the bracket, the number two and number five teams in the state playing against each other in the semifinal. That's how good this Northeast region is in Class 2A girls ball. Collinsville gets the win 45 to 40. Interesting storyline. Collinsville and Sand Rock will play for a fourth time this year, much like we had just yesterday with both Spring Garden and Cedar Bluff. A fourth meeting between these two squads. The winner, though, takes the cake. They go to Birmingham at tip-off time set for 3 p.m. on Monday.